Hello everyone. From now, we are starting the Pandas tutorial and it is part 1. Till now we have discussed about the data analysis. What is data analysis? What is Pandas library? And why we are using Pandas library for data analysis? So first we will start with the Pandas tutorial and then we will move further with other libraries of Python that is useful for data analysis. So this is the part 1. So first we will see how we can import pandas. So before using pandas in our notebook, we should first import pandas. So I have opened this Jupyter notebook. Now in this I will write import pandas. Import pandas means we are importing the pandas. Now pandas is very long name. Whenever we are using the pandas with any function, we have to call it using pandas dot the name of the function. So for making this name as a short, we can use as. Now as keyword is for the alternative name. And then pd. So import pandas as pd means we are importing pandas and we are naming it as pd. That is the short form from pandas. So if I run this, then it will run successfully. So import pandas as pd. This is just a single line to import pandas and all the functionalities of the pandas will be loaded in your notebook and you can use them. So first, in this video, we will see how we can create series and data frame. How we can create series and data frame. Let's first understand what is a series and what is the data frame. So series is nothing but a one dimensional array. So it's a 1D array. It's a one dimensional array and it can hold any type of data. For example, integer, strings, float values, etc. So it can hold the any kind of data type. So it's a one dimensional array. So whenever you will see a table, for example, this is a table. The first row will contain the headers or you can say column names and all these rows contain data. Now if we take one column at a time, if we take one column, suppose this column, then this column only will be called as a series. One column at a time will be called as a series. So this is a series. If I talk about the data frame, data frames, then data frames are nothing but two dimensional array. So these are two dimensional array. So also it can store any kind of data. So if we take one column at a time that is called a series and this whole table will be called as the data frame. This whole table will be called as a data frame because the data is stored in the form of rows and columns. So data will store here in the data frame in the form of rows and columns. This is the data frame and each column will be called as a series. So in pandas, series and data frames, these are the data structure that is provided by the pandas. So whenever we are manipulating or analyzing any data, first we have to convert that data into data frame or a series. So it is important to understand how we can create the series and the data frame. So let's see how we can create those using the panda. First we will learn how we can create the empty series. So for creating empty series, there is a function provided by the pandas that is simply series. So if I write pd dot series and function will have the parenthesis. So series is a function. So pd, we are using pd that is for pandas and calling the function series. So pd dot series and then parenthesis it will create an empty series. So you can see we have the series 
and its data type is of float type and it do not have any value there is no value present here so it's an empty series we can also store this series into a variable for example empty series if we call this empty series here then you will see the same output that is all for the creating empty series whenever you are analyzing the data sometimes it is important sometimes you may face a situation when you have to create the empty series so let's see how we can create series from the list so creating series from the list now if you know list is the data type it is the data type that will store any kind of data in it so it's a organized collection of data so first we will create a list suppose we will create a number of list okay number of list num list we will name it as num list and then list will be denoted by the square bracket in python and then i will store any kind of number like this so our list has the numbers or integers and it is of length 6 now we want to create a series out of this list so what i will do the same function will do so pd dot series and then i will pass the list you can also pass directly the list or you can save the list into a variable and then you can pass the variable in the function. So I will name it as series of list. And if I just print this list, then you will see this list is now converted into a series. So we can check the type of the series list too. So you can see the type is returned as series. So it's a panda series. So that is how you can create series from the list also. So series is just a simple single column. So there is nothing much to create series. You just have to create a list or you can pass any list in the series. It will create a series for you. Now let's see how we can create the data frames. Let's start with creating the empty data frames. So creating empty data frames. Simply, just as the series, we have the function for the series. For data frames, we have the function that is data frame. So empty df, you can call data frame in short as df. So empty df equals to pd dot data frames. And then if you pass something, in this data frame then the data frame will be created out of that if you do not pass anything then you will create a empty data frame so if i just print this empty data frame okay so this kind of output you will see but for printing you can use the print function so you will see this is the empty data frame there is no column and there is no index. And this is the another output. So print empty df. Okay. Now let's see how we can create the data frame out of the list of dictionary. Now how we can create a list of dictionary. First, you will see a list of dict, and then first we have to create a list, and then in this list, the elements will be the dictionary. So, whatever the column names you want to add in the data frame, you can call it as key, and whatever the value you want to insert in the data frame, you can pass them as values for those keys. 
so every element will be equal to the every row so i want to create a data frame for my company just suppose for my company and there is name and the department column name for the name of the employees and the department will show the department in which the employee is working so there will be two columns and suppose there are six employees and i have to insert them into a data frame so what i will do is first column will be name so the dictionary will contain first the name key and let's suppose my name first ayushi and then department and department is data science okay so this will create one row if i pass this list into the data frame then it will create one row with name column and the department column and the value will be ayushi and data science now for the second row we have to create another dictionary so it will be like name and then adhita and the department will be web development like this you have to store values so i have created this list of dictionaries and whenever you are creating the list of dictionaries you have to first think about what are the column names you have to add in the data frame and then the values will be the value of the key value pair in the dictionary so i have to pass this into the pd.data frame and here i will pass this in this parenthesis and i will create df it's a good practice to name the data frame as df because everyone in the world will name it as df df is just the short form for the data frame so df if i print then you can see now it is converted into a table with columns name and the department and we have here index so these are called index these are called names and these are the values so aishi data science adita web development shivani hr dipika is from the sales department khushboo is also from the data science department and prena is from data analytics department so that is how you can create the data frame from the list of dictionaries now what if you have the dictionary of list so let's create the dictionary of list so dict of list will be equals to dictionary of this so first we have to create the dictionary and then let's suppose now i have to create a data frame for the department and the number of employees so the column name first column name will be my key value so first we name is will be department and then the value will be all the values that it should contain so let's suppose we have values like data science hr data analytics sales and web development now for the second column the key value will be the name of the column so name of the column will be the number of employees so number of employees and then what will be the number of employees in data science let's suppose 15 in hr let's suppose 7 data analytics 8 sales 20 and web development let's suppose 18 now what i will do is i will just copy paste this line and in place of the list of dictionaries now we have the dictionary of list so you can see now we have created the data frame from this dictionary of list and we get a neat and clean output in the form of the table so this is called as a data frame you can also check the type of the data frame so type and then df you can see it's a type of data frame of pandas that is how you can create the data frame using the data frame function of the pandas so that's all for this video i hope you understand how we can create series and data frame 
and this is just a simple line to improve the pandas thank you